In this tutorial, you will learn how to get your printer set up and ready to print. If this printer is to be connected to a Windows PC, install the driver software first. Open the input hopper door. Standard cards are inserted in the orientation shown. Close the input hopper door. Install the input hopper by sliding it into the receptacle. Use the guide posts on the hopper to align with the guide slots. Ensure that the input hopper locks securely in place. Install the output hopper by placing it onto the printer or laminator. Slide the output hopper down into the corresponding slots on the printer or laminator. Open the printer by pressing the yellow release button. Lift the printer door to its full, upright position. While holding the cleaning cartridge by the frame, peel the protective wrapper from the adhesive roller. Do not touch the adhesive surface of the roller. Install the cleaning cartridge by sliding the cartridge guide pins into the guide slots on the printer. Peel the protective wrapper from the cleaning roller. Install the cleaning roller into the area shown by placing it into the notches on the printer. Use the protective wrapper to push the cleaning roller into place until it locks into position. Insert the female end of the power cord into the printer as shown. Insert the device side of the USB cable into the USB receptacle on the printer. Insert one end of the Ethernet cable into the Ethernet receptacle on the printer. Press the power switch to the on position. Unroll about one foot from the full roll of transfer film on the supply spool. Load the transfer film supply spool onto the supply spindle with the green flange side to the left. Load the empty take-up spool onto the take-up spindle with the white flange side to the right. Route the transfer film under the retaining tab. Load the print ribbon supply spool onto the supply spindles, purple flange side to the left. Load the empty take-up spool onto the take-up spindle blue flange side to the right. Route the print ribbon under the retaining tab. Grasp the door at the side tab front, pull forward, and lift the door to its upright position. Peel off the sticker and unroll several inches of laminate. Open the cassette by spreading its two halves at the hinge. Grasp the two halves firmly, then pull apart. Place the roll in the upper laminate cassette as shown. Close the cassette. Press the two halves of the cassette together until it clicks. Cut the laminate square with scissors. Rotate the core to adjust the laminate overhang. Stop when the end of the laminate is just beyond the lip of the cassette. Slide the cassette onto the spindle. Rotate the cassette as shown. Continue to turn the cassette. The locking lever will move to the left as the cassette rotates over the locking mechanism and will then click into the locked position.